I had finished texturing this ship in Painter using two UDEMs. I used 4K texture size. When I exported the model in GLB format, the size exceeded 100 MB. That was a problem. I was supposed to deliver the final model with texture under 100 MB. Two UDEMs of 4K resolution drastically increased my file size. So, I needed to texture the ship using a single UDEM. But, what about the texture that I had already done? Altering the UVs will destroy the texture I already made. Luckily, there is a solution for this. We can actually transfer the texture from two UDEMs to a single UDEM preserving our work. This process is just like transferring texture from high poly mesh to low poly. This was my UV layout in two UDEMs. For this process, we need to back up our old UV layout to map channel 2. Let's move the UV layout to channel 2. For safety, I will collapse all. Now I have same UV layout in channel 1 and 2. In channel 1 we need to unwrap UV in single UV map. To pack the UV properly in single UV island I use head as UV layout. So now, I have two UV channel. In channel 1, I have single UV island and in channel 2, I have two UDEMs. The ship is using UV channel 1, so, when I apply the texture, it will mess up. For now, let's change the texture map channel to 2. It is because I have moved the original UV map to channel 2. Now, let's combine the separated mesh to single. Once again, let's check the UV in both channels. All fine here. Now, go to Rendering. Render to Texture. Check if the mapping coordinates are in channel 1 or not. The channel should be set to 1 if not. In the output click on add and add diffuse map. Choose the size you want. Choose the location and file type you want to export. Then hit render. Render is done. Now, everything from two UDEMs should be adjusted in single map. Time to check loading the texture. Let's drop new material. Now let's drop our new texture. And let's assign this perfectly fine. We can check the texture in UV editor viewport. The diffuse map is done. Now we need to transfer metallic and reflection map too. If you have a single file for everything repeat the same process. All should be fine. But here I have a combined texture made for unity. I don't have single file for metallic and reflection maps. Let's transfer this too. First, Let's assign this as a base color of second channel as previous. Since I had merged the mesh into a single, it will mess up while assigning the texture. We need to select the faces of each UDEMs to apply the texture. But first, let's add multi-sub material to combine the texture. Now, go to rendering, render to texture. Repeat the same process. Hit render. Our texture will render like this. Let's see if the metalness and reflection map is correct or not. I will use Substance Designer for this. Let's import this texture. We need to split the map, so let's use RGBA split node. Click on the output dots to check the output maps. Our channel stores the metallic map B channel stores AO map and B stores roughness map. In our case roughness map is damaged. So, we need to extract roughness map from our previous two UDEM texture.
Now, again we have to follow the previous steps to render. Once roughness is rendered, bring it to Substance Designer to combine it. Use RGBA Merge to combine all of the maps together. Follow the video. From the RGBA Merge node, you can export the merged textures as PNG. Hope this video was helpful in some way. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Please share your views in the comment section. Thanks.